awesome. Well, yeah, John, short turnarounds um, between the win over victory and your coming game. How have the boys pulled up from uh, that win? Yeah, good. Um, everyone's excited, obviously, when you win like that and there's two wins in a row that you can't wait for the next game. So, um, yeah, they've recovered well. Um, you know, we'll have another good look at them this morning to see how they they look today and then uh, make a decision on who starts and um, and how we set up against the Brisbane Raw, which we know will be another tough game, but um, we're looking forward to it. Well, obviously, Nikolai's suspension one week has been upheld by the Match Review panel, but Leo comes uh, back from his suspension. Is that just Nikolai out, Leo in to the heart of the defence? We'll have a look today. We've got uh, you know good options there now. Um, you know uh, Jacob Tratt did well when he came on. He's he's filled in a couple of positions for us: right back, centre back. Um, great to have Tamaki back in, and uh, and now Leo back. So uh, we're we're fortunate that we've got good options, and um, you know I'm sure whoever plays will do the job. This stretch that you're entering, well, you're in the midst of now, John. I think it's one, two, three, four six games in the state of Victoria in a row and you've won your first two of them. Is this the type of run that you think can turn your season around? Um, yeah, well, I hope so. Um, we'll, we, we hope that, um, you know, playing here, that we love playing, obviously, in Victoria, but, um, you know, playing here, it's uh, in, important that uh, we pick up points and uh, we've started doing that, you know, the, the first game against Wanderers and then against Victory, so... Hopefully we can continue that. We we know it's not going to be easy though. We we know that it's uh, you know no game is easy whether you're playing home or away. But um, yeah, it's always nice to play in Victoria and you don't have to travel so much. But you know we've travelled to Perth, we've travelled to Wellington, we uh, to Mariners. So we 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 know that uh, it's going to come again soon. That we're going to have to travel. But um, you know at the moment we're happy to be here. Sorry, I should correct myself. It's five games. Your sixth game is a home game in Tassie. So you know, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but Brisbane Raw, mate, um, they've got, they're an interesting side this year. They've got an incredibly strong defence, but they're not scoring many goals themselves. How do you go about preparing for a challenge like that? Oh, we prepare the same way we prepare against every team. We look at their strengths and, and where we think we can hurt them. Um, like you said, they're, they're a team that um, doesn't concede too many goals. Um, but, you know, they're still dangerous going forward. They've just got some good players going forward. So I know that uh, Austin's not there anymore, but, uh, you know, they've got uh, some quick players up top and, um, and you know, experienced players in the midfield and at the back. So it won't be easy. They, uh, they're a good side um, and um, we, we expect a tough game. John, obviously, a uh, four-day turnaround compared to Brisbane having a whole week. Um, how do you manage that in terms of coming out of that game from Monday? Obviously, quite a taxing game with the conditions, 10 men, everything like that. Did, does last season even help to an extent as well, preparing off short turnarounds? Like, how do you go about this week? Yeah, look, we uh, got used to it last year, uh, short turnaround. So our preparation's been, you know, very good this week so far. Um, and we dealt with all the short turnarounds really well. You know, whether we had to rotate players or whether the same players started. Um, we had a short turnaround in the final series when we played uh, Wellington to, to playing victory in the first league when they had a longer turnaround. And physically, we'll be fine. We'll be capable to, to match it. And then, you know, whoever doesn't start and comes in will give us good impact and good energy. So, you know, we, you can make five subs now if needed. And so, you know, it doesn't really hurt you as much um, in terms of those short turnarounds. I think it's actually, yeah, the players love playing and so it's actually nice for them because they don't have to listen to me in training or, or hear the, 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 you know, the instructions in training as much. They want to play games. Johnny, if you are raw guys in your team, are they uh, up for this one? I'm trying to think of the old raw guys. Oh, well, Jamie, I guess, is the main one. Dylan, well, I don't know whether he's playing or... Then you've got Stevie, who's still injured, but there's a couple of, you know, and, you know, yeah. and, you know, yourself. So, uh, are you, uh, you know, like, does this mean, mean a bit more or not? Nah, it's it's the same every game. You know, every game's important. Every game's hard. Every game, there's this, there's an ex-player that's played, you know. Last week, it was Connor Payne and... Uh, 
you know, a week before might have been someone else that played at the Wanderers. Um, so, you know, that, that uh, it's the same every week. You know, I'm sure that last year might have meant a little bit more to Jamie Young and uh, Wenzel Halls because it was the first time they played against them. But now they've played against them a few times. I don't think it will affect them at all. Jamie's form is, you know, pretty good. A good save the other day at the end there. Yeah, when called upon, you know, because he didn't have much to do the whole game and then... That, that's uh, the sign of a, a good goalkeeper when you just keep your concentration and the last minute when we needed him, he pulled off a, a very good save. So, you know, that, that's good uh, for Jamie. It's good for us because, you know, hopefully Brisbane don't have too many chances, but when they do have that one that Jamie's able to pull off the save that we need him to make. John, the sort of common theme as well, word is that, you know, you guys are going back to the way you were last year in terms of trying defensively and you know, one nil wins. Is that? Do you think that that's right? Is that fair, or, or is there more to you guys than that? Oh, there's way more to to us than that. You know, we we've scored a lot of goals this season, um, and we've had multiple goal scorers, which is good. So we're capable of scoring in every game. We look like we're going to score in every game, and um, and defensively, I don't think we were that bad. You know, when we were conceding those goals, we we're getting punished for some individual errors, and then and I mentioned it at the beginning. We knew that we will go on a good run and that we still believe we're going to go on a really good run because um, our defensive you know, structures have been looking good. It's just you know, individually we've made some bad errors at times, um, but now we're cutting them out and um, you know, we're starting to look like that team of last year that don't concede too many goals. Um, but, you know, we're still capable of scoring goals. I think we look more likely to score a lot more goals this season than what we did in periods last season. John, I wanted to ask you about uh, Tongo. Uh, he's obviously had a bit of trouble finding fitness since he's arrived in the A-League men, but started your past two games. That's coincided with two wins on the bounce. What have you made of his play? And just at what level do you think he is in his acclimatisation and fitness, how much further how can he take his game? Yeah, I still think he's probably only about 60% fit. Um, I, I think he can show uh, even more than he's already showed. He's already showed a lot, um, you know, because you know he, he got injured early on when he was coming off the bench and then um, that was only his second start against the... Against victory, his first start against Wanderers, like you said, you know, two wins on the trot. He just gives us that that you know, he wins the ball in there, he wins second balls. He's um, he's also very comfortable on the ball, just keeps the ball moving, and you know, he's got that calmness. He's a coach out there, he, you know. So we've got two real good leaders in the midfield that are coaching and helping, and um, and you know, I think there's a lot more left in him. You know, I, I still believe that uh, he'll improve as the season goes on, and. That's good signs for us because uh, he's already showing, you know, real positive uh, signs and 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 what he can do for us. Is that an area that when you came into Western United last year, you really emphasised recruitment of your spine? Obviously, you brought in Jamie Young, Leah Lacroix, Alex Priovic, and now you've got Tongo in there as well. It's a very, well, it's a very large and it's also a very strong spine. Yeah, and look, you see, um, with our spine, when they're all fit and ready to go because we, we you know we talk about our uh pre-season but even the start of the season we didn't have a lot of our players playing you know the tongo hadn't started um alex has only started now three games um tamaki imai has uh, you know he only started the first game and was injured after 25 minutes i think we've only conceded one goal with tamaki in so that that also gives players you know that that confidence and that belief when our spine is there, that um, that you know we're we're very strong and and also you said they're very large, they're very tall and strong and um, and you know on set pieces I think we've scored now off of five corners or something like that. So you know we look dangerous every time we get a set piece. Um, you know we we attack the ball well. Um, so it gives you that extra bit, um, especially when you got all those big boys in. How important is continuity now, John, with getting all these players back? Because, you know, as you mentioned, you didn't have Tongo, you didn't have Tamaki at the start of the season, same with Alex, but getting these guys out the park, playing regularly, you know, not chopping and changing with different back fours and different midfield partnerships every week. I guess, how much does that impact things going forward? We'd love to have everyone fit all the time, um, but we know that's not always going to be the case. So, you know, it will be nice, but, um, you know, if not, I, I actually think that the, the, 
the boys that have come in have done really well. You know, you talk about um, you know Milanovic, Bozanowski. You know, they've they've come a long way since you know I've been here. You know, they've improved a lot over the last year, and uh, and that's really positive. You know, we we'd be able to throw in players and and you know now know that they're up to that level and and have got that real confidence and understand what they they're supposed to do. So. I'm really happy with the younger boys, the way they're progressing, and I still believe they'll progress more as the year goes on. So if they have to play or start games, you know, I'm sure that they'll do well. And Steve, we'll stick how far away is he? Is he still a few more weeks away, or is he getting closer? Yeah, no, he's still a few weeks away. He's he's running and training. He hasn't trained with the group yet, so we still think he's a few weeks away yet. But um, it'll be nice to have him back involved as well.